Now, the vacuum exercise is something that I come across a lot when people don't really know what they're doing, but they think that it should work, uh, especially personal trainers. And, and um, let's say new mama coaches, they call themselves, <laughs> much to my annoyance. <laughs> because you know, there's this it's called postnatal training for, for a reason. You're not a new mama coach, get over yourself. <laughs> this is just my annoyances, right? This is if you want to call yourself new mama coach, and that's what you do, who gives it? And you know, if you if if people are happier calling themselves that, that's fine. It's not like personal trainer is a protected title or anything like that. Um, anyways. The reason the vacuum exercise isn't suitable for post people postpartum is because your body isn't functioning well enough yet to do something which is actually quite an advanced exercise. Um, you're also likely not exhaling properly in the right order. You know how I always talk about exhaling from the bottom up uh, when I talk about the core breath? Well, that, you're missing that for most vacuums. And therefore, it won't help heal your diastasis recta, really. I mean, it'll strengthen the core up, for sure, but not in the way that we need it to. Now, and that's kind of what the problem is. She clearly has looked up, as most people do, some diastasis recti related exercises. Like I said, lie in vacuum, toe taps, bridges, side planks, and other, other DR exercises, DR related exercises. That is just not really how any sort of rehab exercise works. You have to, as in, I, I cannot stress this enough. You have to start right with rehab exercises. Remember the um, interview I did with uh, Ron Pain Free now, uh, on a Jessica, I think it was Jessica Marie Rose Leggio, something like that. Long name. Lovely, lovely interview. She absolutely crushed it again. And we were all in sync about, about how you get people back to full fitness. Uh, even though she takes a different approach because she works with runners. And I only do, you know, box standard postpartum, uh, postpartum stuff. But we're all in sync because we know what the starting point is. And the starting point is always the same. Um, and it's about getting everything to function properly. That's where you start. So, so activation is what I talk about a lot. She talks a lot about uh, release and all that sort of stuff. And it comes down to the same thing, right? We're, we're very much doing that whole interview. Check it out if you if you're uh, if you're ever bored, because um, it really was a it, it was a cracker. Um, she she knows a lot of stuff. Um, you cannot grab a random bunch of exercises and hope it sticks, right? You start in a certain way and then you build up. There has to be progression in your program. I spoke about this before. If you start with crunches, random example, but I've, I've, I've seen that before. I do 100 crunches a day. Okay, but what's next? 200, 300, 400? Where's your progression in that? It doesn't mean anything. If you're constantly... Uh, Katrina Oakley is one of those ladies who has a... A personal trainer who's uh, or or physio whatever she is, uh, she has a four week beginner program. And the amount of people I see that do a four week beginner program for six to nine months is insane. It is just you're just out of your mind. You cannot do a four week program for six months. A four week program is a four week program unless you never look at it, <laughs> unless you just never do the exercises. In which case, yeah, you put it in a in a drawer somewhere and you look at it every now and again. But you have to have progression in your program. Otherwise, it, it, it's virtually useless. Right? This is why if you sign up to a normal gym and you walk in and you get your four-week uh, four week program, which is usually free for most gyms, uh, your initial one anyways, after four weeks, you're supposed to go back to the guy and buy a program from, from the, the personal trainer, the, the guy or, 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 or the girl that gave you your original program. That's why they give you a four week program. So then after four weeks, you come back for another one, but you pay for that. Um, if a program doesn't have progression in it, 
it's not a program, it's just a random bunch of sessions. And random sessions don't really get you where you want to be when it comes to any sort of rehab, any sort of postpartum recovery, uh, recovery program. So you have to start with a program, not just random exercises that you stumbled across somewhere. Uh, even though the exercises sound like they were they the sort of thing that comes up when you Google diastasis rectus exercises. But they're not necessarily the right.